he loved my hangover cures. I think he did, and he <laughs> likes to text. Emily, tell us who it is. <laughs> it's Mr. Electricidad. As Ray <laughs> All right, he's a oh, true no. king of comedy, and uh, it doesn't matter if George Lopez is on stage, a big screen or small screen, he always delivers the laughs, but get ready for the hilarity to ensue when he takes on a new title, Mr. Troop Mom. You're a real mountain man. I just shaved my beard with a rock, the dull part. Huh. Well, it is gonna be something having you here this weekend, Eddie. I appreciate that, thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, when you are set up, Miss Hulka would like to see you in her office. Okay. Uh, you know what, tell her she doesn't have to call me. Just rub a couple twigs together, I'll just pick up the sound. Right, uh, okay. You wanna know my Indian name? The tent, Eddie. Focus on the tent. Stances with squirrels. I just grabbed a little. And we are so happy to have him here with us. Good morning. Thank you. It's so good to see you. It's nice to see you. I went to the new stadium last night. Yeah, and what would you think? It's uh, fantastic, a food fest, and, and the, the fans seem to be more polite. That's new stadium. They don't yell, you suck, but then sir. Right, they, could, they call you, you sir at the end. Sir. It's amazing. It's still, I was there a couple weeks ago. Does it still smell new? Like, even the bathrooms smell new. It smell. yes. Believe it or not. Yes, you are correct. It was a great night. All right, let's talk about the movie. Uh, what is the premise? Obviously, uh, you're being funny. It is a guy who works a lot, uh -huh. who is a lawyer, who is um, a little disconnected from his daughter, and then she has an accident, and and he, she runs to the her person who's taking care of the house and, and not to him, and he realizes that at that point he needs to do something to get her back, and he decides to incorporate himself more into her life, which I'm sure most kids want in doses, not all the time. Right. So, so I have a daughter that's 13, I don't think she wants me other anything to just drop her off. Right, so she's at the point, like she's getting to the point that if you take her to school, you got to drop her off like three blocks away. You know what's scary? We saw her friends on the corner. They were riding their bikes. She almost like half dug down like, really? I don't oh. want you to. <laughs> oh, how does that not hurt your feelings? <laughs> you know why? Because I did it this. I dug down when I see my friends with her. So, there. <laughs> so what was it like working with all the tweens on the set? Uh, it, it's, a, it's a little bit difficult because of, the, I have a lot of kid movies, you know, like Beverly Hills Chihuahua and you know the, the, my show on Nickelodeon at Nick at Night so they look at you like if you are almost like not a real person right and I went to uh, Andy Garcia's kids birthday party and they had um, like uh, Speed Racer and the and the villain and then I went and I was almost like a character at that kids party you were so were all the kids up. were like rallying were around you instead of yeah. Speed Racer <laughs> to get pictures yes well you know you're famous <laughs> when right <laughs> yes all right let's talk about I mean do you still have time to do stand-up uh, you know what I, I, I do I'm doing another live HBO special August 8th Great. called uh, Tall, Dark, and Chicano, so I'm on the Tall, tour. Tall, Dark, uh, and Chicano, <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, so you, and I know I saw you a few weeks ago. You have a new uh, talk show that's going to be starting as well. This new is, talk show, yes. So obviously it's a late night show. What What's going to be different about it from some of the other ones that We're, we asked? Well, see? first of all, I'm not a pasty white guy. That's, that's <laughs> true, that's true. So, and, you're so, not, and you're not tall like Conan. And I'm not completely white or uh, in my 60s. Okay. The, uh, uh, I think what's going to be different is that it's just going to be more diverse and more inclusive and, and, and more of a party atmosphere without the hangover, so you don't need lo mein or that's, vanilla that's shake. <laughs> <laughs> Although that, that's a great remedy. Right, so what, uh, so how do and you... And my couches will have plastic, you won't be able they to sit will. on they them. They will have plastic. Will you have any dice hanging from the uh, rear we, view we mirror of the car we on may. the way there, too? We're going to do different <laughs> things, like, you know, uh, celebrity car stripping and who can remove the airbag without it going off you right. know, on you and stuff. All right, so what do you think in the meantime about Lita? What do you think of the whole uh, Conan switch and, and Jay Leno and the whole thing? I, I think it's an exciting time. I mean, I, I'm not sure uh, if I was the head of NBC, I would have switched uh, uh, Jay Leno out. I think the show is doing all right, but mm -hmm. but it is interesting. It is a great mix now uh, with what's going on and 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 the diversity and you know we have color in the White House and you know if change can go to Washington, change can come to late night, baby. And speaking of change, uh, you're going to be. I understand you're going to be uh, heading to uh, the UK and you're going to be uh, golfing. Yes, in I royal am. Treatment. Speaking of change, you know I I I'm going to be there with my wife and my daughter in in Rome and in Italy, and then uh, I'm going to drop them off. And they're Drop gonna them out, more like kick them out they're of the gonna car. Kick them out. And then I'm going to Scotland to, to watch the British Open with T, with TNT and, uh, and and helicopter around Scotland. God, it's got to be rough. Are you going to wear an argyle? It's uh, an I'm going to like wear, wear a kilt. I'm going to wear a kilt with 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 nothing under. Nothing under. Okay, you got to when in when in Scotland. And I'm in my 40s, so that's more dangerous. <laughs> 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 so life is good. Uh, you know what? Life is good. This movie is good too. I mean, there's so many things that are not for kids anymore, and so many things that you have to make sure that what you bring into your house. And uh, 
Nickelodeon and, and has done a great job with this movie, and then we executive produced it, my wife and I. So That's it's a great. good, it's, it's a good nice opportunity. It's nice to be able to do things that you know your daughter could uh, to sit you around. Know, could yes, brag if you, sit, if you sit around with your kids and watch this movie. Then you'll be able to do anything you want for the rest of that day. And you know, and you're Mr. Electricity <laughs> Dot. I love like Raina, uh, Tiffany's daughter. Yeah. She just told you he's obsessed with you. Yes, They're, the kids are usually uh, obsessed, and then when they get to be like nine, they go, "He's old." <laughs> it's okay as long as they're obsessed when they're five. There'll always be new five-year-olds coming. Whenever up, I see yeah. a little kid and they go, "His hair's gray," I know it's time to dye it because yeah. they don't have they don't have a filter. They just tell you the way it What's is. It's exactly on their mind. Well, thank you so much for coming. It's always well, so good I, to see you. I love you so. Much. I love you too. And uh, you can catch where is it? You can catch uh, Mr. Chute Mom on Nickelodeon this Friday at eight, and the DVD is in stores on Tuesday. And uh, coming in November, you could uh, catch his new talk show. Back to you guys. I'm excited right. for the talk show. I gotta say, I am guilty of ducking down. My parents used to be like, oh, please. I know, right? Uh, My mother would be like, be a teenager. Why are you going? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, shh, shh, mom, stop it.